feel eloquence, but he must have stimulation. He's looking for some feeling, for excitement, for chiyas. So he looks for chiyas and other things. <laughs> so you have, you know, 40-year-old men that are jumping up and down, you know, over a football game or a baseball game or something. That's already uh, harmless. I'm not talking about something harmful. That's uh, that's, that's harmful. Or you know, taking crazy vacations and going, and, you know, having uh, all kinds of uh, finding there, even the things that are mutter, thing, even the things that are permitted. People, to, uh, the things that I, I I see and I hear, the, you know, the kinds of in, indulgences, looking for some chiyus somewhere. So everybody's familiar with these things and the things that are going on. One of my kids was someplace and they they were uh, away during the break and they and they went on they were invited there were a couple of chassid shechever that invited them to come over because they were in the same area, and my and my daughter said that there was there like Shlomo Amalek would have passed out if you saw, <laughs> but these guys but they their wives weren't there, they were there for some kind of a show that's a business show that they had to be in the neighborhood. In the area, and my, my daughter said that she never in her life saw such a thing, like the, the, the amount and the, and the type and the expense and the, and the, and the sitting there like, like mamish, like, like, Shlomo Melch was Shaita, like, but, but, but Shlomo Melch wouldn't have known what to do with all this stuff. I don't mean Shlomo Melch himself, you know, his whole kibbutz over there that he had in the palace, wouldn't have been able to deal with this. And they're very sweet and very, very beautiful and holy people, very generous, but in this world in such a way that it's hard to believe and with it being pains and that's that, that's when a person uh, a person gets lost in this world is looking for chiyas in this world something that's exciting especially since that chavra in their world they have they really don't have too many uh, other um, distractions it's the worst of a better word that are, that are permissible, so if they get kosher food, it's, wow, over the top. Such a, such an Indian. But to, again, it's kosher, but it's, it's not, it's not a metzius of Kedosh and Tiv. And, and this is what happens. So you're in that cycle. So then you, you indulge more and more in the world. Shkai. Oh, all right. Thanks, Joe. You fret and you fret more and more in the world, and the more you the more you, you you throw yourself into this world, the the more your your ruchnis dike chush becomes shkar, becomes 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 dull. And Kamei Shomer Chazal Aver Averu Gerevus Averu Nachas Kama Vekama. We're not talking about kosher food. Some sort of whatever they call nowadays kosher entertainment. It's like it's an interesting thing. And somebody was telling me about this. I've, I've seen one or two clips because people, you know, I've seen a couple of clips, but this became now a thing that there are Jewish, I would say Jewish comedians is not a new thing. We grew up there with Jewish comedians, but from, from comedy became a, a, a thing now. I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't know the names of it, uh, but it became a, an Indian that there's from comedy. Which is okay. We always had, you know, badchanim. I guess to have at chasna, there's some badchanis, but to have a, a malacha of badchanis, and and that people are people are, with your shemaim are going to pay money to 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 go again. You know, I, I enjoy a good joke as much as the next person, but the Indian is just a strange Indian that it's become also part of the culture of, of Orthodox Jews, such a thing. There's a, there's a, comedy is a, comedy is a very, very chosh of a, the tzaddikim are very, very much in favor of there being a, like Rav Kook called, ma'at sichlus yikara. It's a very beautiful lotion. A little bit of precious silliness. Ma'at sichlus yikara. But you can be sure that Rav Kook's shir of ma'at sichlus yikara is ma'at, ma'at. And how, and how it was experienced was with a couple of Jews sharing something that's a little bit humorous. But to, to enter into that world of, of it's, people, people are looking for something. 
I mean, it's a simon that, that people are, are alive and they want something to give them chiyas. So in that way, it's a good simon. People are looking for chiyas. But they're, they're looking, they're looking, they're looking, and then it could be they're looking in places, a lot of people looking in places that are not uh, kosher entertainment. That's what they call it nowadays, kosher entertainment. They're not, they, look, they, they can go beyond the boundaries of what's kosher. And these things that are called kosher, I'm a super, you know, how kosher they all are. But lachain haroitzel is karev, alavaitis Hashem is baruch. If a person who wants to be miskarev, alavaitis Hashem, page kuf yud ches, the left side, reish is called the beginning, and here we usually think this is the end. We think this is at the this is at the end. This is later on in mitzvah shasharim. This is the end. But reish is called the emes is that in order to be able to be on the program of a, of of serious Avedis Hashem, mm-hmm. where a person has a, a feeling of Elokuz, from the beginning, Reish is called, the beginning is Chayva Lis Ames. You see, he, he highlights the word Lis Ames. A person has to make an effort. Again, does it mean that you, that the person has to, is expected to reach all kinds of Madragas in the, the beginning, but, but the Reish is called is Chayva Lis Ames. That's why Luchos is Hara. He has to make an effort to to slice away, cut away the ra in his life. And he'll, he'll talk about even, the next page we'll talk about even Binyani Rishus, like I was talking about with food or certain things. But to start to, to be in the parish of, of Luch Rai Sesara, to, to make a, an effort. Luch Rai Sesara. Each person, at his pace, is Madrega. But to be in the parasha of making changes in, in life when it comes to Kedusha, of what of, of where his eyes are, his thoughts, and so on. To make an effort. To, to get out of Mitzrayim. These are the parashas of Shavuot. At least to, to be in the, in the parasha of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Not to be among those who, who Khalila remained behind in the and, and, and uh, disappeared during the darkness, during the Mark of Chayshech. There's a Mark of Chayshech, a person's in Mitzrayim, and the person, there's, there are Jews that, that during the Mark of Chayshech, they disappear. And there are others who still want to leave and who are trying to get out. And each person to be in the parish of of, of habasis. <laughs> Because that is the that is the the beginning. That's the yisod. That's the basis. In order to feel Hakadosh Baruch, all the other avoda of a person is built on that yisod of kedushim to you. Everything else we do, our davening, our mitzvahs, our learning, even even the even the ramah chaverim, even the ramah chaverim. The moment think, what does have to do with the ramah chaverim? It's a very 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 beginning to feel. Not only you are neshama, but to feel the neshama of another person. To be sensitive to, to, the, to that world of neshamas. You can be a nice guy, nice people, but to really, really feel what the other person needs and what you could do for him. And, uh, you know, to be in that difficulty with him that he's going through, to be nice about Olam Chavero, it also requires a certain a certain sensitivity, a certain ruchness. You know, you can, you can be the nicest guy in the world, and you know, you, you, you're the guy that shows up like uh, at the Shiva house at you know, 10.30 at night, you know, with the, the family sitting there, like, and they're just like getting ready to, and there's always like some guy you know, walks in, you know, sits down by himself, and then wants to have a half hour conversation with the family sitting there. You have the whole day of Shiva, it's a certain, you could be oblivious in, in the world of Ruchnis, you could be Ben Omer you could be oblivious to the. And also, when it comes to helping other people, what they need, and there's a lot of that that's going on there as well now, also, with all the good intentions and good feelings, you know, a lot of selfies also. It's, 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 a, certain, it's a certain sensitivity in Ruchnis to feel not only your own Neshama, but the other person's Neshama. And what this person is in need of right now, what words, what encouragement, 
chizuk. It's, it's not just a matter of phenomenal normal makom. When a person's ruch nistike senses are, are, are not strong, so then it affects Venom Chavero as well. Even though he's a nice person and he means well, it, it can have a it can have an effect upon that not to feel a, a, another nisham. You don't feel your own nisham. You, you're you become you become uh, part of a, 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 of a world that's called Asha Karcha, a coldness and you stop feeling that you can't feel what other people need also. In Ruchnius and so on, your own children, your own, your own family. Omnam Zerak Yitnai Yisodi Lizkais Lekedusha. But this avoda of Sur Meira, of trying to, of trying to do your best to make an effort to stay away from Ra, that's, that's, a, a, that's a, a condition, a very, very preliminary basic condition to go, for, to reach more for that Tachlis, which is the, a life of Kedusha and Asay Tov, in, in a positive way. The Ikka Kedusha Atzim, he shall leave you a Shai Hashem as well. The Ikka of Kedusha is when a person decides that, that he wants to belong to Hashem. And that his heart belongs to Hashem. That he belongs to Hashem. Not that he belongs to the other side and he has, you know, times in the day, times in his life that he does godly things. But he belongs to Hashem. He gives himself over to the Shvara. Like a, like a wife who's given over to her husband. Which is the meaning of Mekudeshesli. Right? Mekudeshesli. That's Kedusha. That's the meaning of Mekudeshesli. That's, that's a, separated from the world, as Taisus explains there at the beginning of the Masachna. Separated from the world and given over to her husband, and and that's what it means. Mekudeshesli. That's what kedusha is. Separated. That's the aleph separation. Sumira. I don't. I don't flirt with the others. I'm totally separate from anybody else. But the tachlis is that. So it's not tachlis. Not just move delas. But the, 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 to be given completely over. And then menace the Bible, she writes yes with its own. And and that's where you begin to feel the Elokos, because when you give yourself over, then you want what the other one wants. And that's what it means to be sensitive to Ruchnius. To be sensitive to Ruchnius means that that even though something, for instance, like I was talking about before, even though something might be permissible. So you, you might be allowed to have uh, these things like meat boards, or whatever. You're allowed to have uh, meat that's uh, you know five hundred dollars of some plate of pastrami. You're allowed to have it. I'm saying that with a small a allowed. You're allowed to have it. it has a good hersha. You're allowed to eat it. I'm saying you're not allowed to eat it, but not to have it. You're you're allowed to have it. But it might be not. It might be something Hashem Shabbos is not pleased with. So it's a question of whether you identify with Hashem. That's what this ruchni is taking feeling. Do you identify with it? the husband, the wife, when being giving yourself over to the other means you identify with the other in such a way that you feel what the other one feels. So give you to feel what Hashem Shabbos feels, and to be able to see Hashem looking down and saying, "Are you serious?" <laughs> This is what this is what you. Uh, you're sitting there li- laughing like a hyena at some at some comedy or some. Like this is what uh, the talk is. What it is. It's, so to, so again, it's an also you know, we're gonna talk about the next page in Yoni Rishus. I'll ask Kamer Vakamer comes to Ram Shul Issa, but to feel. To feel, what is the Ratzon Hashem? What's the 
you look at Shulchan Aruch and you ask a Shaila, is this mutter or is it also? But that's not, that's not where it ends. It's a certain sensitivity. It's a certain sensitivity. It has to do with everything. You become insensitive a person. You can walk around in a shul and the talking people who walk around and dressed inappropriately in the shul and carrying on the shul like Again, it's, 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 it's a, what exactly, what, okay, I was talking this and this, but there are other things in shul that might not be a, so clear cut in shulchan aruch, mutter also. But is there a sensitivity to the, to the shechina? That you're in a place of, you're, that you're in a place of kedush. If a person will walk into shul, and even though it's not davening time, we'll start calling out across the shul for something. It's a, it's a shul, and there's a certain sensitivity. And, and to have that sensitivity is to, is to be able to feel what the Baruch feels. And the, the Baruch doesn't care for such behavior. Is, did he write, is it written in Shulchan Aruch, that you can't raise your voice and to call across to your friend, you know, did you see my, did you see my, uh, my, my sitter or something, or my towels? It doesn't say it's an issa, but there's a feeling that a person has. And that chush and ruchnis is something that's very, 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 very strong by tzaddikim. A chush and ruchnis. And by Elohim, by, by God-fearing Jews, it's a very strong thing. So you had, for many, many years, there was such a thing as a Jew who was not particularly learned, but he, but he lived a life of Kedusha. Might not be so learned. But, but he had a sensitivity to El Elokus. Because being smart doesn't make you necessarily sensitive. Because you're a sharp guy, doesn't make you sensitive. You could be the sharpest guy in the room. And you could be carrying on in a way that's completely insensitive to other course. So it's a certain giving over. That's what he's saying. My Isha, and I menace the Bible, she writes this with saying, to want what the other one wants. To want what the other one wants. And to feel that Voice Iraqis with Sina. And you only want to do what the other one wants. Udvukabai. That's that's the Madraga with Dvaikus. Vain die. Vain die Bamesha Aina Bogedispo. It's not it's not enough. It's not just that this that this wife doesn't cheat on her husband. It's not just a matter of of, of an actual, you know, begida, of, of being unfaithful. That's uh, very extreme. That's very extreme. If you have a relationship with your husband or wife, and and uh, using this example, and the husband, and the husband and the wife, they don't really have a relationship, a connection. And, and they're having a conversation about this, and the wife's and the wife says, uh, "I don't know what you're so upset about. I never cheated on you." Okay, you know it's not such a big madriga. <laughs> Maybe in the Tavshin Pedal it's like a madriga. I don't know, but that's not a relationship. Just a, okay, this that's good, that's good. But the the poor guy is looking for something, you know, between them. And she said, I, 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 I was, I never, I never, I never went with anybody else. I never went to open the So that's a simon that, that, that we're happily married. It's a simon that, that you're still mutter to, to your husband. It doesn't mean that you're happily married. That's not called, that, that's, okay, there's one part of the Makudeshes that you move Dallas. That's good. But you, don't, uh, you don't have a boyfriend. That's nice. But is that tachtz? Sumei Ra is not the tachtz. That's that's Aleph, hundred percent. She's she's faithful to him in that way. She doesn't. She's Sumei Ra. She's not. She's not a Saita. That's that's Aleph. But that doesn't make a relationship. That's that's the Tanai. It's necessary that there can be a relationship. But that's not the end. It's not the tachtz. It's not something like at their fiftieth anniversary, you know. There's the, the, the grandchildren get together, and uh, and they're having a, like some big 
happy nice little suda for the uh, for the fiftieth anniversary, and, uh, and 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 she says, I want to say something to Bob. She knocks on the table, said, for all of that fifty years of marriage, I want you to know, I never cheated on your grandfather. <laughs> Joshua, it's a strange Joshua. <laughs> Everybody would, you know, they would just sit there and I don't think anybody would clap or would just wait for the rest of the speech. And she said, That's all. They're waiting to hear, like, about how, you know, Bobby and Zadie like that, this beautiful marriage and these, this amazing connection with each other. And she says, No, I really have nothing to do with the guy, I can't stand them. But I never cheated on that's just a thing uh, for 50th anniversary and if that's true when it comes to two people being together so it's true of, of one's 50th anniversary with the Kaddish Baruch Hu too when you came to the world in a relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, they have to say it's an accomplishment I never cheated on him something but the Tachlis is to have a Chush fellow Kus and Rotson have a relationship, have a connection. But ain't die by Mesha ain't about this part. It's not there. It's not enough that there, there was no uh, begida. That the person's not the, you know an oibet of a desire. There was never oibet of a desire. The kedei liskos lezer zarech la harbeis b'maisim mikach. Therefore, it's not just sumira. It's not just a matter of staying away from the bad stuff. That's Aleph. To do it. Again, Ama Amaz. Of course, people slip. But to make an effort to be in the Avoda of staying away from bad stuff, especially in the Yonim of Arayas, like, like it says by Kedosh Mateev, especially in that area of, of, of the Avoda of Yosef Atzavi. That's not enough. There are certain things, Sarek Laharbos, but Maisim Mekadshim. To increase and increase those Maisim that in all mitzvahs, all mitzvahs, but among the mitzvahs, when you learn, you, you begin to realize that there are certain areas of Avodah Hashem that more than others have this ability to, to, to strengthen that attachment, that connection, that giving over. That giving over. Shem limadatay rakadayisha. For sure, but again, learning Torah with Hashem is well. Not learning a Torah just not not learning a Torah just something that you like or it's interesting or you want to get a shit on. It's learning a Torah with Hakadosh Baruch with Hashem is well. Giving up of your time, giving yourself over to your, to learning, and, and living a life of uh, of learning. Living a life of learning doesn't mean that you have time necessary necessarily to spend all day learning. But that's the that's the that's the toughness of, of, of your day. That's what you look forward to most. That's the highlight, the most important time of your day. Even if you have an hour, you have a half hour, that the, that you feel that this is this is the most important part of my day. This is what I'm this is what I'm I'm living for. Even though it's even though it's a, a little bit of the day because you just don't have the time. Still, it's it's um, it's it, it, it's Makadish a person. That that way of living, that way of thinking, is Makadish a person. On the top of Kofiutas, Batfilo, Mrs. of course, Davening, Mrs. Like our sister Vakas, Shikamano Machaskum, Masif, and Shaikh, Shalom, and Shalom, and Shalom. We do all different things that we can. Strengthen our our connection to Hakadosh Baruch to give oneself over more and more to Hakadosh Baruch. We have Kuf Pei Ches. Tachlis Pnimi is Madvegas Hakadusha. He she l'arotz and rakli Hakadusha. The tachlis is the way that tzaddikim is that the whole, the whole rutzen they have is just for kedusha. And when the, the, the person's entire chiyas is just from from, from that, that relationship from Hashem. 
and all those things in his life that are, that that connect him more and more, which which means also ben alachareim, which means his friendships and his marriages, his marriage as well, when it's for tachlis of kedusha. Lo yitzer klam kol the person doesn't is not interested in other things, doesn't want anything else. V'yisna mamish is he comes to a place where he mamish has a sinner, where he's disgusted with evil, with Ra. He's a sinner for Ra. Or Yahweh Hashem. Sinner Ra. Mamish is a sinner for Ra. Avli Yashal Agil is Amiyad. Of course, this is a person's entire life to work on this. Alas, Cholli, he lived for Yashal Maisim Haram Yatayvis. The beginning of the Avod is to work at. at it's separating oneself from things that are that are not good. Again, to be uh, make a ma'amatz an effort. By they have trisha ma'klipus, and through this avod of of pulling yourself away from klipus, nitar libo lahargishes hashemesh baruch. The heart becomes purified, and the heart begins to f- have feelings for hashemesh baruch. Begins to feel hashemesh baruch in a real way, not stam dimyonis. In, in a real way, you begin to have hargoshes, velikus. Those who miscarry will love yoser, and you begin to get closer. Chay also yoser, you begin to live in that connection. That it's, it's a you have a chias in it. Unlike the person who's looking for chias and, 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 and other things, that relationship gives you a chias. You're davening, you're learning your mitzvahs. Gives you, that's your chiyas. And the more you have a chiyas in that connection to Hashem, the more hatred you feel for anything that's against that relationship. For anything that gets in the way of that. You want to distance yourself more and more from those things that are, that, 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 that are the opposite of and and you pull yourself more and more away from all the enemies of Hashem. And then you're in a cycle of Kedushan. And you begin to feel more and more that pleasantness that of uh, the Noam of Hashem. And this is not only when it comes to the Varm as I was talking about before, even the Scottish Binyani Rishus, Pesh Kofiutas, Vihine, a prosecution to you. Bola has you in a Kaddish Asmach of a Mutalach, to my Shehevich Ramban. The Ramban, of course, writes at the beginning of Pashas Kedusha, the Kedushim to you is Kaddish Asmach of a Mutalach. Kedusha is to be found where a person, of course, when it, like Rashi says, Pushman Harai, that's, that's, a, a, that's, that's obvious. But the Ramban goes on to say that the Kedusha, the Tachlis, is not just Pushim and Arai, is to be away from, separate yourself from our various and disgusting things, but Kaddish Asma Mutalach, the things that are permitted. Behind the Shechelik Minyan Kedusha, that a part of this whole Avod of Kedusha, again, as the person becomes more sensitive to Hashem is Baruch, this is something he feels much more. That a person who doesn't have this chush velikus is not in the world of kedusha. He doesn't even know what's what is it that's wrong with this. Why is this a bad thing? Why is this something which is bad? Why are you why are you why are you why are you making fun of uh, you know our chartered plane with with uh, with meat boards? Like, why are you making fun of it? Why why are you what's wrong with it? Is there something wrong with that? He doesn't know what you're talking about. But a part of this is is to be parish of things shein bam iser. We're not talking about iser. Anything that's not part of your avodas Hashem, even though it's something that's 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 permissible, it's not part of your avodas Hashem. Lama. So one could ask, 
Why? Why does what, what's the Rabban talking about? Why is that? Hashem said there are things that are also things that are mutter. And the Shulchan Aruch says this is mutter. So if this is mutter. So then, 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 why is it that it's so tied up with kedusha? It's, 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 it's allowed. Isn't it enough that the Torah said that these are things I that there are so many things I can't do, and the Chacham came along and added so many things that I can't do, and on top of all of that, on top of all of that, you tell me there's something wrong sitting on the charter flight, having hired our own personal comedian while eating from the <laughs> meat board. <laughs> So is there something wrong with now? You tell me that's also not good. What's the Rambam like? What is, what is this? Now mutalach, it's mutter. So it's mutter. So yesho shalom. Well, is that davar mutter? It's permitted. Umara yeshba. And this is of course one of the things that 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 kids begin to feel when you do, as they enter into those. Teenage years where they no longer are just doing things because they're being obedient or, you know, to get prizes, and they're starting to think about life. So, so the the, the, the kids feel this. It's hard enough that, that I can't do all these things that the Torah doesn't allow me to do this and this and that. And on top of everything, like the things that I'm allowed to do, this and the, and the Rebbe is getting up and giving a whole schmooze about this. Is, you know, when I was growing up, the Rebbe were. were on and on about the only like the I had a Rebbe that like well, the only English words he knew was the Yankees and the Mets. He knew those <laughs> the Yankees and the Mets. Uh-huh. And he's going on and on with the Yankees and the Mets, the Yankees and the Mets, the Yankees and the Mets. And we're thinking like, well, why does that bother him so much? A couple of guys running around the bases like that's such a big idiot. Like why, why can't we be Orthodox Jews and, and enjoy Yankee games? Like, you know, what's the big deal? So teenagers feel a, a very very. They feel very, very, very troubled by by any any attempt to go even beyond what the Torah requires. It's hard enough to just keep what the Torah says. Then I got this Rebbe giving me a whole speech about the Yankees. What's wrong with that? Why? <laughs> it's one thing in my life that that that, that, that so there's no favor in that. Watching a couple of guys running around the bases, an occasional Jew too loud. <laughs> we were all excited about it. There was a Jew. You know. There weren't too many. At least maybe now there are. I don't know. They weren't too many when I was growing up. You know, used to hear about Hank Greenberg. I was the whole hawk. But but so that's also or Sandy Koufax, Yom Kippur. Mark Mark Bloomberg. Yeah, I remember that. Was like, yeah, Mark Bloomberg. That was like the pride of the Jews. <laughs> but but this is also not good. So, okay, the, the Rebbeim were, 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 were not attuned to the sensitivities of American kids and that there are certain things that they, that, were, that you know, you have to give the kids something to work with to bring them around. But, and it's very, very different now. The Rebbeim now are very grateful for a kid like the Yankees and the Mets. <laughs> you know, Rebbeim now worried about whether he's going out with the cheerleader. <laughs> so it's not about the Yankees and the Mets anymore. Maybe there are some places that still are still giving those talks, although that's uh, that's really not the main issue anymore. But so why? So the kid feels like this is also not good. This is also not good. The Torah doesn't forbid this, so why can't they? What's the matter with this? What's bad about this? What's so bad? I can't do this. This is also something I can't do. And you have to be very careful with young people. Because this is, a, this is something that they're all thinking about. Every one of them is thinking about. Every time the kid, the kid walks in and he's not dressed the way that the father wants or something, and the father gives him a funny look. Like, this is also no good. So you have to be very careful with that. And the question is why. And the problem with, with kids that age is that they that they really it's it's very, very difficult for them to understand why. But in our times, uh, the kids are also 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. <coughs> to understand why. Because the 
Nishmas Ayahalis, the soul of Yiddishkeit. Enerak Nishma Lamitsis Bechitsainis, the soul of Yiddishkeit, just like the soul of marriage. It's not just, it's not just to, to not be cheating. It's not just the Chitsainis. And it's not just keeping the, the mitzvahs be chitzainis. And the big Elias devukim okshurim Hashem is brought. The pnimius and the soul of Yiddishkeit is to be dovuk to Hashem. It's dveikus by Hashem. It's the soul. It's the neshama of Yiddishkeit. The lichios of lahargis is mitzius of ba'olam, and to live. Lichios la hargish, the mitzvahs of Hashem is in the world, to live that. Ladash be'emes shel nimsa, and to know that be'emes who nimsa, Hashem is is alive, he's here. And ladash shu is baruch who had toy vayichidu. It's the soul of Yiddishkeit. It's not that Hashem is brought as a tachlis at the toy vayichidu, like the Ramchal begins in the beginning of the Mishnah Shachar. Kiraku hametziyus amitus. The Rambam says the beginning. Only Hashem is metziyus amitus. Vein od novado. Vein od novado. Quick of petas. of the mitzvahs is that we should come to this to bring us more closer and closer to this to this hakara of this recognition of Elokos. Each mitzvah is an amazing, amazing means of getting closer to Kadosh Baruch and, and, and developing this chush velikus. If you're looking for Hashem, if you're not looking for Him, then it's just uh, then it's just it's like a pain in the neck. The the zukkah. Why can't I sit in my room? If you're looking for Gersh Baruch or Sukkah, what, what is a Sukkah? And to learn about it, to, to get a sense of what it means to sit in a Sukkah. Every mitzvah. And every Avera has the opposite effect of taking you further away from Hashem and forgetting Hashem. And that's why we stay away from them. Not because there's because there's some king that just wants to torture you by making all kinds of rules for you, all kinds of laws. Mitzvah six hundred thirteen eitzes, eitzes for what? Eitzes of of the heinu drachim eichles kar. The mitzvahs are called eitzes. The Zara says because every mitzvah is an eitz of how to get closer to Hashem's work. Men kavon aloy meshayin eitzes reshus. Doesn't mean an eight an eight you usually think eight is okay, eight means good advice. I don't have to I don't have to uh, follow everybody every everybody's good advice. No, it's the mitzvahs are obligations. There are eights of how to get to Hashem. They're obligatory, the mitzvahs. But each mitzvah is an eight of how to get closer to Hashem. Kuf Tzadik Marshal. L'gadl hador, shenichnas l'spala b'makim shalom akirim asa. See, if you have the gadl hador, you have great, great gadl hador, and he goes into Dav in some place, shalom akirim asa. They don't, the people don't, the people there don't know who he is. Hu ha ya ha asiru l'minyin. And there, there were nine Jews there, and they needed a tenth. When the Chavetz Chaim walks in, and the Chavetz Chaim is the tenth, in a Anshe Amok Miri Dem Shu Nimsa, so the nine Jews that are there are very pleased because they know that he's here, he's the tenth, and they could now they could now they could daven. Here we go, Marshal Mohammed Saminian. So they're all excited because this this little this little guy walked in. It's like you know five foot uh, three, five foot two. The guy walked in. And uh, he looks like he's Jewish, so, and uh, and we have a minion. So, 
I don't know who the Chavetz Chaim is. I never heard about him. But he just sees a sweet-looking little Jew that walked in. Or the MS bar makes an English Chaim lay other shirin himself. Aye, so they know that he's there because they're counting him for the minion, but they don't really know he's there because they don't know that the Chavetz Chaim is there. They know that there's a yid, and that and that because of that they're able to daven but see, but they don't know that that, that the God of Hadur, they know that the Sadiq is not just walked into the room. They don't know that, so they know that he's here, but they don't know him. It's a very very big difference. Again, you have husbands and wives are living together for 50, 50, 60 years. They know that they're there, but they don't know each other. They know that the Chavetz Chaim is in the room because they, they know that there's a person here that's the 10th person, but they don't know Yodim Shehu. Who is he? Because they don't, they don't know his greatness. So as far as they don't know. They, they ask him, what's your name? He says, yes, well, my, okay, so we, thank you. We just, you came just in the neck of time. So my, they don't know. But name Shul. Mishya there, Sheyesh Hashem is Baruch. A person who knows that God exists. So he knows that God is in the room. He knows that there's a God. But he doesn't really know that he's a God of Hador. He doesn't know that he's a God of Ha'olam. God of Kol Ha'olam is. He doesn't know that. But the Bemish, as God of Yehud of Atuba, he doesn't know his greatness, his, his Yehud, his oneness, and his, and his goodness. You know, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know any of the. This, the the Varshalom comes to the room, he says, What's your name? He says, My name is the Varshalom. So, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I'm the creator of all worlds. I run all worlds. Wow. We didn't know that. That's what it is. That's how we live. As I who is it's, it's even though you know that he's there, the same way you know the you know there's a tenth guy in the room, but you don't know it's the Chavetz Chaim, you don't really know that he's there. You don't know that he's there. You know that there's somebody there, but you don't know that, you don't know who he is. So you can live your whole life. You know there's something called God, someone called God, but you don't know who he is. You don't know who he is. And he and that he is not machriya your entire existence of, of how you live and what you live and what your home with Jesus is about. Just let's finish this Kutsadagam. the very Matsyas. We come up from him any Matsyas Atmas. And I'm enam dava shakahim. He said, "Atzma." So everything, so that that everything exists. Everything we see with our eyes exists, but that's but it's not called like the Rambam says at the beginning. It's not a mitzias mitzat atzma. A mitzias depends on other things. Only Hashem is a mitzias with an atzma. He's a, an existence that can't that has to exist, and there can't be existence without His existence. Okay, but Hashem will continue.